All right, so it's begun. Or actually, it's already a uh, quarter of the way through. Had to replace the whole floor pan. Thanks to uh, KF Vintage, great product. Anyways, so this is where the battery used to be. It's already come down. You see all these rust right here, it's already all messed up. Uh, decided to cut it right here so I don't have to do this corner bend. I just have to do this little small bend here, bring it down here, and maybe do another slight bend. So from this side, you can see all this is all messed up. It's okay because I got this battery tray area from KF Vintage as well. Great product, right here. So this right here, we'll be going right here somewhere. Somewhere right here. I just gotta play with the fitment a little bit. But anyways, now it looks like it's, hey Vintage, it looks like they do it up to here. I won't be doing it up to here. I'll probably end up maybe somewhere right here. Just kind of cut this up right here, bring it over here. I got a new piece and I also got a new piece of this. So all this right has to be changed because of the battery. The only thing that I'm contemplating on changing is all this right here. There's, there's a little small rust but it feels like it's still pretty solid. So I'm debating if I should keep these to make it look original, or maybe just chop off the whole thing right here and just go solid. And then this side rail right here, I will, I'm debating if I'm gonna maybe chop it up here, kind of run it down along here, all the way to the front, and then maybe go buy uh, get some more sheet metal, bend it, and then just weld it on top. That way it looks, uh, you know, because you can see it's damaged. You know, I don't want to bondo over that, you know? So anyways, the progress so far in the 240. Tons of work left to do. Once I'm done with that, then I'm going to primer the whole car. Paint the interior. I already got the interior almost stripped off. Once I get all that stuff painted, I still gotta repair my dash. Once I repair the dash, I put all that stuff back in, put my 2J in, and hopefully we can get it rolling. Time and money, time and money. Let me know what you think. Update on the uh, 240Z. Uh, I've got everything all cut out. Everything's kind of everything's measured up to where it should be. Uh, so I had this top right here chopped off. I was going to cut it down here, but I was afraid that if I cut it down there, I would have to re end up replacing the whole thing. So you can see it. I cut off that top portion. Um, now I was able to with a. Um, on a 20 gauge I made this bracket right here it fits right at the top it's been measured and everything you can see it's gonna go it's going to go something like like that it lines up and everything it's gonna go something like that I did tack well the uh, firewall so it's all it's all in place I got lucky with measuring uh, it sits flush to it so the only thing I have to do with this right here is just kind of kind of over weld it and maybe kind of shave it later on but anyways so thanks to uh, one of the youtuber he's also doing a whole bunch of these fire panel stuff that well replacing a whole bunch of these panels uh, if you haven't checked them out yet check them out uh, I believe his YouTube name is Rien Dash Car Dash Nation. Re Car Nation. Anyways, uh, he goes step by step on how he created that panel. I tried to copy how he made it, uh, except his is 
his is a longer sheet. I think his comes up along here and then goes over here. So I just did the lower portion of it. I was able to get these little bends right here. These are 90 degree angle bend. Like I said, again, watch this video. He'll walk you through on, on how they did it. And that gives you an idea of how you can also do it. So what I used was, I know they used some PVC pipings to bend this. I just used a, um, a table, just a rubber table. Those rubber folding tables, those party tables, those foot, six foot party tables. I drew a line where I wanted that bend and I started bending it little by little, little by little. And soon enough, see, so it's, it almost sits flush, which should be okay because once I start welding it, it should hold. And then just right now, at this little corner down here, it needs a little bend. So I simply just took a hammer. I took a hammer and I started pounding it. So what I did was, I used this two by four right here, exactly where I wanted it. I left my two by four right here and I started pounding it from the top. And if you look at the bottom, which no one probably will ever look from the bottom, it's got hammer marks. Let me see if I can get it, there you go. It's got hammer marks, but at least it's uh, lining up exactly where I want it. So that's that. By the way, I got these right here from KF Vintage, these four pants. I've already mentioned it in one of my other video, but they sit in there beautifully. So all I gotta do is just roll the remaining of that. Once I get that, then I'll more than likely move up here and I'll probably add, uh, weld in my battery tray. There's my battery tray area. I'll weld that in. Once I get that, then I'll weld in this top. Once I get that, then I'll weld this piece in. And that should complete it. So with all these rusts, I'm just going to uh, maybe clean it up and then maybe just use some rust sealer or something on it. So that should be okay. The only reason why I didn't want to replace this whole, this whole uh, engine bay frame piece right here is because uh, I was afraid it wasn't gonna line up. I've seen some people do it, but I figured most of my rust is what was up top anyways. So I'm just gonna clean up all these little rust area, or not little, but try to clean up all these rust area. I'm gonna just try to save this, save this piece right here. It's a little dirty. But that's what I'm gonna do. So again, getting closer to finish. And it's starting to, starting to look a lot better. So it's not as hard as what I thought it would be. Um, you just gotta go out there and you just gotta start cutting things up and start measuring things and, and start doing it again. I'm using 12, 18 gauge. So it is slightly thicker than the 20 gauge which is a little harder to bend, but I feel that it's it's a lot better because it's it's the firewall. All right, thank you for checking it out.